Hello, this is Mark from My Keys to Music. Thanks for joining me on this video. If you've often wondered how you can get sheet music on your iPad electronically, then this video is for you. In addition, we're going to show you some advanced features of this software that is not really covered a lot here on YouTube, specific to Nord Keyboards, whereby as I pull up the sheet music, it will actually change the program settings on my Nord Keyboard and bring up the correct program or the correct patch as I open up the sheet music. Okay, so I've got House of the Rising Sun loaded up, ready to go. And now I'm going to switch to the music from Up, Married Life. Here we go. What I should see is when I click on this, this will go to A11. There it is, A11. We'll even go so far as to show you how to put a button on the actual sheet music. And when I click the button, it will change programs as well, just as another option in case you don't want it to change program settings as you go from sheet music to sheet music. You might want to do it at your beck and call. You can do that with a button. All right. So what do you need? There's a lot of different components you need, and it might seem simple at first. And I guess in theory, it is simple. You need an iPad, you need sheet music, and you need a Nord keyboard. You also need something to allow you to connect the iPad to the Nord keyboard. That's not going to happen by magic. But after you do get it connected, it's going to feel like it's magic because you're going to be using MIDI over a wireless connection. And that's very interesting. But to do it, all the right pieces have to be in place and you have to buy just the right equipment to make this happen. At least that's my opinion uh, in the two or three hours that I've been working with this. Uh, it, none of it came easy. It took uh, some research, some testing, and here we are. That's what this video is all about. So if this is what you're interested in, uh, feel free to stick around for the whole video and you'll you'll be a master at this before you know it. Now, if you are just looking for the sheet music and the iPad solution and you don't care about changing program settings on your Nord keyboard or any keyboard for that matter, don't worry about it. I'm just going to tell you right now what you need. You need to go look at the um, application, which is for your iPad called Fourscore, F-O-R-S-C-O-R-E, and you can find it at fourscore.co. Jump over there, read all about it, learn how to use it. They've got some great help and tutorials. Uh, download the sheet music as needed, and that's all you'll need. You'll have your sheet music on your iPad, and it's game over. You can stop the video and go do something else. If you actually want to go the extra mile and learn how to do wireless MIDI, having this connect and change your program settings on your Nord keyboard, stick around. That's what we're here for. All right, so first, let's give you a quick history lesson. How do you connect an iPad to a Nord keyboard? There's no automatic way of doing that. So in the old days, and I say the old days, maybe five, six, seven, eight years ago, you used to get something called an iRig MIDI, and it would be a Frankenstein-like contraption where you had one end going into the iPad. In fact, this is the old style. You can see how old that is. That's the old style connector for the iPad. And then you had a wire going for MIDI out and MIDI in. And then on the other end of that would be a plug. That would be the five pin MIDI DIN cable. So you'd have in, out, so MIDI in and out, and then the iPad. And then finally, you'd have a fourth cable coming from here. And this would represent the power of the iRig to, to power it up. So it was very much a uh, claptrap. In fact, on a live gig, it didn't really work all that well. It was fragile. I mean, it did work but it was fragile. It's just, it's not gig worthy. This is just not the kind of device you need as a, as a pro musician, uh, either touring or setting up night after night. So that was short lived, but I did get it to work and I've got nothing but good things to say about the iRig device itself. It's, that's awesome. And the modern day iRig devices are in fact wireless Bluetooth. You can get the iRig uh, MIDI 2, I believe. And you can go check all that out. I don't own any of those newer devices, I uh, switched channels and went to Yamaha, no particular reason. I just did a little research and I went to Yamaha. And Yamaha has uh, a modern day solution. So let me just show you what that is. Let me get my reading glasses here. It's tough to get old. You turn 50, this is the, the kind of the way of the world, I guess it is. All right, so um, this is the wireless MIDI adapter model UD, as in underdog, BT-01. That's the BT-01 from Yamaha. And one end of this goes into the power. So it still needs power, just like the other device. And I'm using a traditional, um, what is this, an iPhone power, USB power plug. And here, this is the US version. It's got the 110 volt or 110 amp uh, connector. And then on the other end is a USB 2.0 jack. 
And then you can use a pretty standard cable, USB on this side, and then this USB goes into your Nord keyboard. In fact, this is, you could use the same one that came with your Nord keyboard. USB in the back of the Nord, this goes to the power, then it's still wireless, it's still wireless to the iPad at that point. Okay, so that's solution number two, and I like that solution. It is a modern solution, but what I don't like about it is it requires power uh, into a traditional power plug. That's not good. Uh, you want to keep your power and your cables to a minimum on a gig. But it is good if your MIDI is already spoken for. In other words, if your Nord keyboard is plugged into another MIDI device or another MIDI keyboard using the five-pin jack, then you're out of luck. You have to use something like this. But it's nice to have this option to go into the USB port and carry the wireless MIDI through the USB port. Definitely a good option there. If you've got a little bit of a simpler setup and you've got, let's say, just the single keyboard, you're not already using the MIDI 5-pin uh, jacks, uh, which I think is a lot of people out there, they don't necessarily have a two-keyboard rig. And even if they do have a two-keyboard rig, you don't always connect MIDI back and forth. You just have two keyboards. So if that's you, then this will work. And what I love about this is it's self-powered. It's actually getting the power from the MIDI uh, ports. The MIDI jacks on the back of your Nord actually have a little bit of power. This was a surprise to me too. And this will power these little guys just like this. So all I need is a, mini, uh, a MIDI in and out. Boom, that's it. This is your whole wireless MIDI. This allows your Nord keyboard to speak wirelessly to your iPad. Pretty fantastic. All right. So I'm going to show you how to connect that here now, and then I'll come back and we'll finish this uh, setup. Here I have the device. In fact, I never even took it out of the packing plastic because I wasn't sure if I was going to return it or not, but it's been working great since I've had it. So on this, you'll see a small arrow. Uh, one is pointing in one direction as if it was going out, and the other one is pointing in the direction going in. So the one pointing in goes to the MIDI in, and the one going out goes to MIDI out. And you'll just find your MIDI in and out here at the back of your keyboard. Also, too, you'll know that you have it right because there's a ridge here, and that indicates the top. All right, so MIDI in to MIDI in, MIDI out to MIDI out. And if you look very closely, you'll see a red light uh, indicating that it's got power. So once you connect that, that's essentially all you need to do on the Nord keyboard, other than making sure you're on the right MIDI channel, and you can learn how to set up your MIDI channels on some of my other videos on your Nord keyboard. Okay, so you'll want to download two pieces of software. One is paid, one is free. The first piece of software you need, and really this is the secret sauce. This is what, uh, what held me up for a couple hours because I just wasn't allowing it. it, I just wasn't getting it to connect. This piece of software is called MIDI Wrench, and it's free. Open that up. Click on this setting over here on the left and click down to Bluetooth MIDI devices and you should see your device connected. Let me connect mine here real quick, make sure it's uh, on and ready to go. Okay, and you can see here this illuminated, this is the MDBT01. I'm going to click on that and it should allow you to connect. Now without this piece of software, this MIDI wrench, you may have a dickens of a time trying to get this connect to connect to your iPad. It's just not going to work. Uh, it will work with GarageBand on your iPad because that's sort of an Apple app. So it knows how to speak to its inner core uh, MIDI devices. But uh, these third-party apps don't necessarily know how to connect. So in order to do that, you'll need this MIDI wrench. And that's really all you have to do. Just connect it here. You're done. You don't need to fool around with this or learn it or play with that. There are some neat features on that, uh, none of which I've explored at this point, but it does look interesting. But for the purposes of this demo, that is just a means to an end. The piece of software that's going to do your magic here is called Fourscore. And before I go in there, you can just double check that everything's working. You can go to your settings on your iPad and check out Bluetooth. And if it's connected correctly, you'll see the MDBT01 connected here in your Bluetooth settings. So that sets you up. That means your iPad is now talking to that little device, that Yamaha device, at the back of your Nord keyboard. And that opens up your world. So from here, I'm going to click on the Fourscore software. And we'll take a look at this. I happen to have a piece of sheet music here from the movie Up. And I've loaded that. Uh, essentially, I downloaded it from a third-party sheet music source. I think it was um, Sheet Music Plus or something. One of those. I'm not even sure which, which I downloaded it from. But I managed to get it into 
the Fourscore application. It also has some built-in uh, capability. They have con connections pre-wired for some other third-party services where you can buy your sheet music. That's not really the point. And I really can't go through the entire, uh, what the software can do in, in its full glory because it uh, would take an actual course to do that. But for the purposes of this, once you get into here, I'm gonna show you how to set up your MIDI so that we can do a program change. So let's suppose that I want the Married Life song, when it opens, to automatically change to a program on my Nord keyboard. Let's go set that up now. So I've got the app loaded on my iPad. I do have the iPad connected. That's only to either keep it charged or in this case to send video signal out so I can make this video. But technically speaking, we are wireless here and we don't need a single cable between the iPad and the Nord keyboard. We've got our Yamaha device plugged into the MIDI in and out ports back here, and we're all ready to go. You already saw that part of the video. So the app is loaded, and I've got a song here uh, called Married Life, and I'm going to assign it so that when this song loads, it's going to change the program on my Nord keyboard. So click here at the top, and then you'll see Married Life from the movie up, and I'll click this arrow here to the right. And if I look at this setting over here, this is the MIDI setting, and you'll have three options. You have open, send, and presets. What you want to select is send. Send these commands on open. So when the uh, sheet music opens, when this particular sheet music opens, it will send a command. What command is it going to send? Well, let's find out. I'll click on the plus at the bottom right here. And we get different things we can do in MIDI. I can do program changes and hex codes and song select and so forth. What we want to do is we want to click program change. This provides some interesting options. Let me explain to you how this works. I've got, starting with the left, I've got channel. Well, that's pretty easy. We know it's channel one because we set that up on our Nord keyboard here, or we will. Uh, so we'll use channel one. Then I have something called MSB, LSB, and a fourth option, which is zero through 127. So the MSB tells the Nord keyboard whether I want to select from my program list, from my song list in song mode, it can also select from the synth preset or even the live mode settings. So setting it to 0, 1, 2, or 6 are the choices here for the Nord Stage 3. The choices on your keyboard may vary, so just check out the manual under this program change operations area. Now the LSB is sort of a calibration uh, option. If I choose 0, that's because there's only 128 choices in MIDI. The Nord keyboard, as you know, has 400 programs. So how do you switch to 400 programs if you only have 128. Aha, that's where this LSB comes in handy. Zero means it's going to pick from zero through 127, so the first 128 uh, grouping, the grouping of the first 128. If I went to one here, that would bring me to the next set of 128. If I put a two here, that would bring me to yet the next set of 128. So if you add all those up, you need like three or four of these to make, uh, make it all the way to 400. So let me just keep this simple. I'll go to zero and I'll put this on zero, meaning the very first song is going to be zero. Now the way MIDI works, it's zero through 127, but the Nord starts at one, whereas MIDI starts at zero. So you do have to compensate and add one to the number when you're thinking about this or deduct one from the number, depending on how you look at it. So zero is going to be one. So if I've done this correctly, when I open this piece of sheet music, I'll just click back here and uh, I'll switch to the other piece of sheet music that I have loaded in the library here. So I'll go here to this music note and go to House of the Rising Sun. Okay, so I've got House of the Rising Sun loaded up, ready to go. And I'm going to manually change my program to, let's say, C14, just because that's what I had it on. And now I'm going to switch to the music from Up, Married Life. Here we go. What I should see is when I click on this, this will go to A11. There it is, A11. Magic and wireless, no less. This uh, program even has an option for a complete set list. Now, I haven't really explored it, nor uh, do I know how it works at this point. But there's some neat options with this four score software. It's not very expensive, yet it does a lot, and it could be a great companion for you. So, you've seen now how I've programmed that. For practice, let's do another one. Let's go back to the House of the Rising Sun and program that for another uh, program. So let's go to the music note here, go to House of the Rising Sun. I'll click this right arrow. I'll make sure it's on MIDI. I'll make sure it's on send. I'll push the plus button, click program change. 
and that will also be MIDI channel 1 MSB 0 because I want it to be on my program listing. The uh, LSB in this case, let's go to 1, which will bring us to the next grouping of 128 programs. And we'll still put it on 0, meaning I want it to be the very first program on that next group of 128. I don't happen to know what that is, but let's switch to it and we'll find out. So I'm going to now switch to House of the Rising Sun, and it went to F11, because F is the letter in the alphabet that represents the next 128 programs, and F11 is the first of that 128, and that's why it went there. If I wanted it to go to F12, for example, just to really bring this idea home, I'll go back here and set it to 2. Instead of 1, I'll put 2, or excuse me, I'll set it to 1 instead of 0, and that should go to 2 over here in Mellow Pad. So let's go to Married Life, which brings me to A11. And if I've done this correctly, when I go to House of the Rising Sun, it should go to F12, and it did. So that's how we've calibrated this and figured out how to change our Nord keyboard program settings based on uh, what uh, piece of sheet music I have open. Now I want to show you one other feature because I mentioned it perhaps at the beginning of this video, which is you can add a button to make the program change independent of the opening. In other words, let's say I want the sheet music to open, but I don't want it to change programs just yet. Or maybe I have two different programs within this song that I switch back and forth to based on whether I'm playing the chorus or the bridge, for example, or the verses. So I can actually make a button here. So I've selected the button. I'm going to click here. That will make a button show up right on my sheet music. And I'll define an action. In this case, I'll click here and click MIDI. I'll add this plus because I want to add a new MIDI action. And just like you saw earlier, I'll click Program Change. And then it's the same thing all, all over again. Channel 1, MSB 0 to get me into that Program Change mode. LSB, well, let's just say I want to go to 0. And let's just go to 25, the 26th program on the list of Nord. It's 25 listed here, but because it's 0 based, it's going to actually be the 26th. Uh, program. We're starting from that first group of 128. I'll click Save. Now let's just uh, throw this off. Let's go to, let's say, A13. Now I'll click the button. Watch what happens. Aha! It went to B11, Italian Grand, which is uh, what I told it to do. I told it to go to that first listing, and then what did I say? I wanted to go to, what was it? If I click and hold the button, it'll tell me. Yeah, uh, program number 25 on the list. So that'll get you started. You'll have to spend some time to get to know this program. It's really strong and it's all in its all its capabilities. But the part that they don't come out and really show you step by step is how to connect this to a Nord keyboard. And that's really what this video is all about. Special thanks goes out to the student recommending that we do a video on Fourscore and its ability to change program settings. This student is taking the Master the Nord Stage 3 course at mykeystomusic.com. So just a shout out to say thank you again for a great idea. If this is the kind of content you like, feel free to subscribe and like the video. Um, and if you want to go all the way with your Nord keyboard, consider paying a visit to mykeystomusic.com.